Well, it was a worthy experiment. I'm not really sorry for any of it. Poole is dead, but he was an uninvited fanatic. His end was actually quite fitting. To be killed by the world's most insightful, ethical robot for the benefit of all humankind. I'm Avery, by the way, in case anyone's listening. It's a shame the Robot City experiment has been subjected to so much uncontrolled outside interference. Too many variables. Unfortunate. They all have to start over from the beginning. I've transmitted the self-destruct code. It's... it's not acknowledging! Ah, so you want to be responsible for Robot City now. Do you really? Fine. I've made my decision. Now you make yours. If you turn the terminal back on, you'll have enough time to get away before the city blows up. Or you can leave the terminal off and let Robot City continue. I leave it literally in your hands. You? You're me, of course. More accurately, a clone of me. I had you awakened and placed in the city, in the Darla Pod, to test the ability of the robots to interact with humans. No memories, a clean slate, so that you would come in without preconceptions. Unfortunately, the Auroran spies got there first. Now you have to make your decision. Do you really wish to allow Robot City to continue? In that case, leave the terminal off, and Robot City will remain in operation. But if you change your mind, turn on the terminal, and the self-destruct program will activate. You'll have enough time to get away before the city blows up. Choose wisely, son. must be Derek. I'm Catherine. Thanks for helping me escape. You have the key to Perihelion. Great. Can I have it, please? I prefer to get what I came for. Thanks. There's a ship berth down here. We could use it to leave. Great. Let's go.